pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Supervisor Madera Sr. Supervisor Major. Supervisor Daubert. Supervisor Williams. Supervisor Madera Jr. Here. All present. Uh, first, we're going to jump into the opening of the bids, and then we'll excuse me. Uh, uh, that's, okay. that's exciting. Sure. <laughs> All right, Debbie, so we're starting with the paving bids, New Enterprise, first one. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah. correct? Okay, there is a bid bond. Debbie, you know what page I'm looking at? Or? It should be like three or four. Okay. Yep. Type. All right, so item number one, 67 tons of the asphalt binder, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, uh, unit price $220 for a total of $14,740. Item number two, 400, or I'm sorry, $15 for the unit price, total $7,335. Item number three, $110 for the unit price for a total of $16,170. Uh, escalator is not applicable for a total base of 38245 yeah. For the alternate, item number one, unit price of $220 for a total of $5,280. And the escalator is not applicable for the total alternate is $5,280. Is that all you need from them? I, I can state then that the total of the base and the alternate together is 43525. Alright, next up is M&J Excavation. Item number one, unit price $350 for a total of $23,450. Item number two, $10 for the unit price for a total of $4,890. Item number three, unit price $200 for a total of $29,400. Uh, no escalator, so the total base is $57,740. Mm -hmm. For the alternate, item number one, unit price $400 for a total of $9,600. Again, no escalator, so the total alternate is $9,600. And the total for both is $67,340. Item number, or bid number three is Big Rock Paving. Is a bid bond. Item number one, unit price $178 for a total of $11,926. Item number two, $900 for a total of $4,401. Wait, that's not right. Uh -huh. I think it's supposed to be $90. $90. $90 is $40. Four thousand four hundred one. Four thousand four hundred one. It should be nine dollars. Nine dollars. Because the other ones were ten and fifty. Okay, so that should be nine dollars. It's listed as nine hundred, but it should be nine. Four thousand four hundred one. Yes. Yeah. Boy, nine hundred dollars a minute. Wow. <laughs> Item number three: one hundred thirteen dollars uh, for the unit price. Total of sixteen thousand six hundred eleven dollars. Mm -hmm. Total base thirty-two thousand nine hundred thirty-eight. Mm -hmm. Um, alternate bid, item number one, $238 for the unit price, total of $5,712. The total of 38650 Next is Robert C. Young. There is a bid bond. Item number one, unit price $326 for a total of $21,842. Item number two, unit price $18.60 for a total of $9,095.40. Item number three, unit price $131 for a total of $19,257. Mm -hmm. 
Total base, $50,194.40. Mm -hmm. Alternate bid, item number one, uh, unit price of $326 for a total of $7,824 for the alternate. And for both, it's 58018 and $0.40. Next up is Schuylkill Paving. Where's that, Steve? Schuylkill Paving. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is a bid bond. Item number one, unit price $200 for a total of $13,400. Item number two, $8 for the unit price for a total of $3,912. Item number three, unit price of $120 for a total of $17,640. Total base is $34,952. For the alternate, item number one, unit price $200 for a total of $4,800. Total of both is $39,752. Next up is Dave Butilius excavating. There is a bid bond. Item number one, unit price $218.75 for a total of $14,656.25. Item number two, unit price $10.50 for a total of $5,134.50. Item number three, unit price of $96.30 for a total of $14,156.10. Total for the base is $33,946.85. For the alternate, item number one, unit price $373.40 for a total of $8,961.60. Total together is $42,908.45. Next up is Fairchild Brothers. Price $245.25 for a total of $16,431.75. Item number two, unit price of $19.90 for a total of $9,731.10. <coughs> Item number three, unit price $117.10 for a total of $17,213.70. Total base $43,376.55. For the alternate, item number one, unit price $250 for a total of $6,000. Total for both is $49,376.55. Next one is GNR Charles Excavating. This should be the last one, right? Yep. Yeah. Bid bond. Item number one, unit price $189.38 for a total of $12,688.46. Item number two, unit price $15.73 for a total of $7,691.97. Item number three, unit price $142.60 for a total of $20,962.20. Total base contract, $41,342.63. On the alternate, item number one, unit price $267.23 for a total of $6,413.52. Total together, $47,756.15.
Moving on to the seal coat. First up, it looks like Midland Asphalt. Yeah, just barely in the main base bed. Okay, so we are on the seal coat on Midland Asphalt. There is a bid bond. Item number one, unit price $2.36 for a total of $50,190.12. 50, 50, 50. 12. Item number two, unit price $0.65 cents for a total of $13,823.55. Total base $64,013.67. <coughs> On the alternate, item number one, unit price $2.36 for a total of $22,972.24. Item number two, uh, unit price of 65 cents, for a total of $6,327.10. Total alternate was $29,299.34. Total altogether, $93,313.01. The next one is Russell Standard Corporation. $2.12 for a total of $45,086.04. Item number two, unit price $0.60 cents for a total of $12,760.20. Total base of $57,846.24. On the alternate, item number one, unit price $2.12 for a total of $20,636.08. Item number two, unit price of $0.60 cents for a total of $5,840.40. Total alternate was $26,476.48. And total for alternate and base is $84,322.72. And then the last two are for Stoney, correct? Yep. Okay. So first we have Robert C. Young. $1.90 for a total of $16,889.10. Item number two, unit price $3.10 for a total of $27,555.90. Item number three, unit price $30 for a total of $88,020. Item number four, unit price $1.73, total of $15,377.97. Item number five, unit price $5.45 for a total of $48,445.05. Item number six, unit price of $2.83 for a total of $25,155.87. Item number seven, unit price $0.80 for a total of $7,111.20. Total bid, $228,000. Two two eight five 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 four nine. And our last for Sony Lane is a new enterprise. <coughs> Oh, there's the bit on. 
Okay, there is a bid bond. Item number one, unit price $2.30 for a total of $20,444.70. Item number two, unit price $3.50 for a total of $31,111.50. Item number three, unit price $31 for a total of $90,954. Item number four, unit price of $1.40 total $12,444.60. Item number five, unit price of $5, total of $44,445. Item number six, unit price of $2, for a total of $17,778. Item number seven, unit price of $0.90, cents for a total of $8,000.10. Total bid, $225,177.90. If you add all three projects together, the low bid is under our budget. Even with the ultimate? Mm -hmm. Let me recheck it. I came up with 348. 348, 150, 62. Yeah, you got it. Mm -hmm. And our budget was 398,535. So, who was the, let me give you the, just yes. the lows for paving. Uh, should I go with low totals? I suppose. Yeah. Because. Well, if we're going to do the all other ones, yeah. yeah. You got the low it. total for paving <coughs> is Big Rock, 38,650. And the low um, seal coat is Russell Standard, 84,322.72. And the low Stony Lane project is New Enterprise, 225,177.90. That's a total of 348,150.62. Todd, that's the rough, that's why we could do it. If we're going with the alternate, we go with the lowest total. I was going to give you a different answer. I was going to say we're going to do the uh, the award on the base. Um, how close is the second? It's the, the same anyway. Is it the same? Well, this is still the, the, the same. The, the base the still big big rock is the lowest on the. Uh, big big rock is the lowest on the base. Okay, one more. Okay. Yeah, and big good. rock. Yeah. Yep, just yeah, by a little bit, it's lowest on the mm -hmm. alternate. Mm -hmm. Yep, it tells you it's supposed to be lowest on the base. base. I'm sure it'll be Deborah, you're going to get yeah. the spreadsheet? Okay. I'll Thank send you. it to you tomorrow. Thank you, I'll send it. Okay, the spreadsheet's going up already. Chicken scratch. Chicken scratch. Damien, are you familiar with it? I mean, obviously, the Enterprise, we're all familiar with Big Rock and Russell. Or... Big Rock, as far as I know, they've been, they've been doing a lot of uh, municipal work. Okay. Um, not so much around here, but they've been doing a lot of, like, wilkes way. They're from Mount Wolf, where That's that is. Just north of York. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're, 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 they're all over the city. Yeah. They're owned by Ryland. They're based out of Muncie, right up from the mall. Uh -huh. okay. mm -hmm. They've been for us before, but they've never okay. gotten a bit. Yeah, they call you the same thing, because I'm like, oh, no, yeah. this no. is not, you know, flight either, Right. And what about Russell for the seal coat? I think that used to be Hamaker. Oh, okay. And we use them all the time. Russell was Hamaker. I've worked with them since they were Russell Standard, too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. I think so. That's how we've done it in the past. Okay. I'll make a motion. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Tell me all this. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, make a motion to award the paving project to uh, Big Rock Paving for $3,650. Including the alternate. Including the alternate, yes. <coughs> motion made and seconded. And the question. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right, thank you.
motion for Russell Stanley Corporation for the uh, seal code regulations at $84,322.72. Second. Motion make a second. There's a question. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> Pleasure of body of Stony Lake. Make a motion to move price Stone Online Company for the bid for $225,177.90. Low bid. Second. Motion made and seconded. No question. Four favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Who seconded that? Bids? Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Thank you. <coughs> Anything else for the Cave and Seal Code? We'll move on to Linda. Why, thank you. I'm here tonight to um, finalize your favorite funding of all time, <laughs> the 2020 coronavirus funding. So just to go over this quickly, um, you had initially a budget of 20825 for Rapid Township CSO Cares for COVID. You had $10,000 for the Rapid Township Student Laptop Project, as well as $10,000 for the Rapid Township Urgent Need Hotspot. $5,000 for Fuel Oil Assistance. And $4,650 for Urgent Need Protective Gear and also 5000 for the food bank. The food bank was actually the only project that completely expended all their money. They were really good hard. Um, you were able to expend 7299000 in and change of the CARES for COVID. Um, and you actually have quite a bit more budgeted possibly for urgent need. But um, the school district reported that they had an easier time with less red tape getting laptops from other sources. Uh, we heard that a lot, that this, the CDBG money just had a, a lot of, there was a lot of stipulations attached, which is frequently the case. And the urgent need hotspot, which was a really cool project, however, ended up not being economically feasible when you looked at how much you were going to have to pay once the funding was expired. It was just, I can't remember the numbers now, Steve, you might, but it, w it was like over a thousand a month. So it just wasn't, it wasn't feasible and you weren't allowed to do a two or three year contract. So I'm here tonight um, to uh, ask, your, ask you to consider a motion to modify the 2020 CV CDBG funding by moving all unspent funding into Rappo Township Urgent Need PPE activity. And I'm reading off the back of your agenda here. And also to consider a motion to return unallocated F federal fiscal year 2020 CD CDBG funding to DCED. I didn't put the amounts in because there are a, there's a few things that I wanted to be able to discuss with you tonight. Um, I am still waiting on documentation that would allow us to um, make a payment to let me get my notes, I don't want to get this wrong. The Eulisburg Fire and Ambulance um, Association, um, they're $6,578.25 in expenses that they indicated were reimbursable. However, I need check numbers from them and haven't been able to get them yet. Do, do, do you know, does any, is Matt Psycho the only person that has um, access? It was from the ambulance or if it was from the fire company? It was from the ambulance. Entity. But Dave Knowles would still be under it. Well, either that or, yeah. Um, okay. I'm not Which sure that, well, I'm happy to follow up. I just want to, know, and I don't, you know, that there's no, I don't want to publicly say that this is a problem. These guys are volunteers. I may be contacting the wrong person. That's sure, why I wanted to come to you tonight no. to make sure we, I, you know, make Definitely. every effort. Okay, so right. What was the total that of that? Of that, that one? For you having to score six thousand. Um, six thousand. Let's see. 
$578.25. And I had originally sent an email to Matt Psycho. It sounds like he's the wrong person. No, he could. He's, he's the EMS manager, so okay. he would be the one that's ordering everything, but we okay. just check with the accounting and treasurer. And do you have just a total, or do you have actually vendors and dates? I have vendors and dates, but I need checks. I can probably help you with that. With the checks, or? Oh, okay. Can you give me a copy of what you're looking for? Okay. Some of them might be on credit card, some of them might be on the Let's see if I bought it. Direct payment. Well, once I'm done um, communicating here, I'll write them through all these papers. I yeah, may have yeah. it with me, and then I'll just there hand get it to me. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Um, so, um, what I'm suggesting tonight is that uh, you put all your leftover funding, like I said, all the people you can use. Excuse me, and um, then you can take care of the you can take care of the motions. And once we get every penny that we're sure we can get reimbursed, um, it will all come out of the urgent need PPE activity anyway. So the motion that you're making will cover you. Um, <clears throat> and then um, the what we would need to return the remainder of the funding, which it looks like now you you would. You would be under ten thousand dollars in the amount of money that you have to send back. So, That's good. yeah, we were able to really, I mean, to, to really dig up some additional yeah. funds to reimburse. I appreciate you working with the fire company and stuff on that. Really. Yeah, and you know, and, and I know a lot of you helped in the background too. They're all volunteers and they're busy, and it was just, um, and I had a, a lot of projects going. So between I all of us, I think there's email here, Linda, that says, um, please. Elysburg Fire and Elysburg Ambulance submitted $32,453.44 that you think is reimbursable. And if all the expenses are reimbursable, you'll be able to spend $32,453.33 of your remaining $43,175.08, so about $10,000, and we'll need to re return $10,721.64. Yes, that's the, that number is still accurate. Um, there's two other reimbursements that I'm not questioning. You know, I'm, I'm sure of the amounts. The only the only one I'm not positive of the amount on is the one uh, that I'll be six thousand one that you'll yeah. be able Yeah, that's that's a that, that's <laughs> the other the other two um the fire the fire uh, company ordered what's called SCADA gear. Uh, it's it's improved breathing apparatus. That was extremely expensive. They got a they got eighty thousand um, dollars from FEMA towards that. But we were able to reimburse the remaining 13000 and change through CDBG because the FEMA grant was not able to cover all of their expenses there. And then um, a second, they, they, we were able to cover, um, they purchased additional um, whole suits, turnout gear. Yeah. Um, and we were able to use reimbursement for that because um, of the need to be diligent in making sure that that's clean and not shared because mm -hmm. of COVID. So, <coughs> excellent. Yeah. So I said I knew there was additional work there done between yeah. Danny and whatever. So I appreciate. And it was it. just I yeah, and I needed help too identifying um, contacts. Yeah. You know, because it, it, you know with volunteers they turn over things happen, and I probably wasn't calling the right person. So we're much better there. Um, I have. A budget modification certification that I'll I'll leave here, um, Mr. Madera Jr. Since you're the president now, that you can look over and sign, and Debbie can just scan that back, yep. okay. scan that back to me. Mm -hmm. And the last piece of business I want to talk to you about is because two of the projects didn't have any money spent out of them. Three actually. Those will have to be abandoned and therefore require a modification, which requires a, a large ad to be placed in the newspaper and a hearing. We've done hearings <coughs> here before, but I'm recommending to you that we let the county hold the hearing. CEDACOG will pay for the, we, we pay for the ad. Uh -huh. um, but if the county holds the hearing, we have time to advertise it and get it in before their next meeting when they would vote to approve this. Okay. And plus, I can't imagine you guys want to come in for an extra meeting anyway. 
<laughs> so I didn't think that you would mind, but I certainly just wanted to let you know. So I'll go ahead and schedule that on your behalf, unless there's a problem with that. No. We'll get this done. And then the last step will be once we return that money, all that's required is a letter from Northumberland County stating why the township couldn't use the funds. Um, I will make, I'll make some notes for that. Um, I don't know if you want to write something to give to the county, if you want me to prepare that for you, if, if you want anyone on, on the supervisors to have input, or you just kind of want to get it done. Uh, what, you just return the money? Yeah, we don't, I mean, we know why. Yes. You, need, you know what they need, that's more important. Right. So. And, I don't have a problem with her right now. <laughs> yeah, and so with Ralph, which CSO cares, um, we, we were able to qualify one person from, at least two people from Hillysburg who definitely needed the money, but um, there was, again, an extensive intake process and not everybody qualified. Laptops, we talked about. Um, fuel oil assistance, the, my understanding was really what happened. The pastor who talked to Mr. Major originally um, ended up leaving and somebody new came in who wasn't prepared to carry on with the project. The hot, spot was the hot spot was too expensive and of course PPE turned out to be what everybody needed and we didn't know that four or five years ago. So I would just write that nicer and submit yeah. it on your behalf. And that's it. And I'll follow up with. Oh, and you're. I'm going to follow up with you for the um, for the for the checks. And I have a few little questions for you, Debbie, that I'll just call tomorrow morning. That's fine. Okay. Anybody have any questions for me? So, are we making a motion? So we're making a motion to return all allocated money, but we're not determining an amount. That's just whatever we don't spend. So yeah, we, we don't have to have an amount here. And if you actually look at that. Because we're dealing with, we're putting four different, we're putting four different projects into one spending category. To put all the amounts in would be cumbersome. Um, I thought that was the easiest way to do it. Now, if I can give you other language, if you, if you it's don't. It's language. I just would like to talk to you about the numbers, just to understand the number, the, the total numbers better. I just either I'm adding something wrong or not getting uh -oh. their nut job. Well, it's, it's, know, it, I was an English might, major. Yeah, so, but either way, I mean, we have to return the money, so once we figure out what that exact amount is, we, mm -hmm. we don't have to turn that tonight. That's well, fine. probably because you're going to be the one signing this budget certification, mm -hmm. so I will, um, maybe you and Debbie can get together, or, mm -hmm. um, or we can, I can call you, or we can talk sometime, and sure. I'll do, I'll do, I'll double check my math again. Mm -hmm. And I might just be reading off, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, because okay. we're, <coughs> what we're doing is adding the change on the first four, and then that total number plus the current budget for the PPE is the new budget. I can get you guys each other's emails. Yeah, 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 yeah. that would be perfect. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. And then we'll make sure that's right. Okay, does anybody have any questions for Linda? All right. We want to wait till old business, do it now, and do it with preference. Is that a motion? Yeah, no. I need to motion. So I'll consider a motion to modify the FFY 2020 CV, CBBG contract by moving all unspent funding into the Ralph Township Urgent Need PPE uh, activity. Motion. Second. Second. Any question? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I'll consider a motion to return all unallocated FFY 2020 CV CDBG funding to DCED. So moved. Second. Motion made and second. Any <coughs> question? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And then, Linda, not to confuse you, but are you more comfortable if we do another motion to authorize you to write this abandonment letter and to have the county? Do the ad, or is that all encompassed in? These? Uh, that's entirely up to you. If you, I didn't. Um, I know that you'd like to have your motions put in ahead of time. So, I, um, however, you guys want it's to all, handle that. It's all part of the stuff on the budget. Right. right. So it should be okay. Okay. Well, you're the. Well, as long as you're happy, I, I didn't know if you want 
wanted some sign off by us, but if you're part of the process, that's okay. Um, everything that I have volunteered to do for you is part within the realm of the services that I am contracted, CECOG's contracted to provide, but I mean, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, if nope. you're not comfortable as the solicitor. No, I'm just, you brought it up about the letter and I okay. didn't know if that was beyond your scope or not, but if that's part of your scope, that's good. Yeah, it is. As long as you're okay. Is there any other motion or good? No, we're Okay. Anything else for it? Can I ask another one non COVID yeah. question? Yeah. Sure. I think last month, or Mark, was it the month before? I don't remember. We talked about some of these items that were on the zoning report and people not having the financial means to rectify them. Yes. Going forward, and I know, you know you're transitioning out, but. I'm training the new person coming in. Though. If we have individuals who are repeat or even first time offenders for zoning, you know, for blight and, and health and safety issues but they just simply don't have the financial means to rectify the problem. Let's say there's abandoned cars, they just don't have the means to, to remove mm -hmm. those from the property financially. Mm -hmm. Is that something that we could designate CDBG funding for, like a pool of money that we could then say we're gonna use that money for low to moderate income to eliminate blight and or take care of health or safety issues? You know what, even after doing this for almost eight years, I can't, I can't say, yes or no okay. clearly what, I, what i'm going to need to do is go back over the long list of sure. categories and see if i can it. um well and that was the reason i wanted i know you're transitioning and having somebody mm -hmm. new come in and i think that's something that we all were kind of on yeah. board with because mm -hmm. we have trouble spending the money yeah. in cases. Way. if yeah. we could set aside ten thousand dollars a year and say look if these people legitimately cannot afford to take to, to remove the blight or to take care of the health and safety issues and bring the property into compliance, could we allocate some of that funding to them? So, you know, the new person or whoever can look into that. And that's, that's a great idea, Steve. Yeah. The only question I have for Linda is, that being said, because I know we had this before, those individuals would have to definitely approve and they'd have to show right. proof of sure. That. So if they say, no, I'm not going to do it, then right. we can't do it. And I think there would be an intake process, which is really pretty much of a pain in the butt. But I don't want to say no until, if there's a way to get it under slum blight, which is different than income, that I think you'd have better luck with. But it would depend on See the, the, exactly what kind of infractions, I think. I, I'm good, I have one in particular in mind. If I went to this individual, now he owns the property, and I think the slum blight is pretty much abandoned. So this individual, I'm sure if I came and I said, hey, we can get you help to do this, mm -hmm. he'd participate. I don't mm -hmm. think he'd hesitate. But he, he does own the property. I don't think it's a problem if he owns the property necessarily, if we can get it. I've never heard of funding being used in that way, but that doesn't mean that it couldn't be. So I, I, I want to check it out before I say, no, we just can't do it. Um, I think it, shot anyway. Yeah, I think it, it might be tricky, but um, I want to talk to certainly my boss, Tyler, who, who really knows legislation inside and out. So we'll see if there isn't some way we could help with that. And then um, is there, I'm pretty familiar with your website, I think. Is there a list of infractions for zoning anywhere that? No, it's it's just it's all in in code. In it's code, in, it's in municipal code. Yeah, it's all on. All of our code is online. Our health, safety, and our we have motor vehicle, but they all almost all of them fall under health. Our health safety, um, which is chapter five. A, a few of them, some of them, will occasionally be outside of that in dangerous structures, but for the most part, they're health safety violations. I mean, it's possible that we could do some, but not all, even. Mm -hmm. So, um, I definitely... Now, is your... Forgive me, I'm not, I don't work with zoning code much. So, is that is that a standard zoning code, or do you pick and choose as a municipality how, what you want to cite for? Well, if it's in the code and it's a violation, I cite for it. Okay. So but every our, municipality yeah, doesn't yeah. have the same. Right. Code. Yeah. Our code is okay. okay. question. Not to say that everyone else doesn't right. have okay. the same thing in their code, but our code is. So, is there a place online or that I could go to look at your code? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, RalphoTownship.org. Uh, our entire code of ordinances is online. Okay. 
to Chapter 5 as much as you want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's health safety. Okay. Yeah, we're, one of the things I'll be training on is the, you know, the new application cycle where you're going to be talking about new projects. So yeah. this is a perfect thing to kind of organize around. It's a good Thanks idea. Thank you. Are you going to be back? Yes. Okay. Um, you're going to be stuck with me until June. Okay. I just wanted to make sure you're coming back. Yeah, I'll come back. Okay. I might even pop in sometimes, <laughs> but only if you, just you but only if you let me come in and say hi and then not stay for the whole time. That's not awesome. a problem. Thank you, Linda. Thank, Thank you. you. I'll be in touch with you tomorrow. Sounds good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Citizens input on agenda items. All right. Now that's the minutes for the February 14th regular meeting. Motion. Okay. 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 Question. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Treasurer's report. General fund balance as of February 28, 2023, $797,610.43. State aid fund balance as of February 28, 2023, $334,632.41. Motion to approve. Second. I second on the question. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bills list. Is their twenty or their their tax money before the end of the year, or is that we give them? That's last year from June through December, okay. and then after I think it's it's either April or May where I give them what I have so far. Okay. And then again next year I would do what I do. All right, so it's typical in, in March. Okay. Yes. I just wasn't sure if that was going to mess our budget up. No, but it's either March or okay. April. Um, whatever's convenient. Sure. Do you want? Uh, do we want to? All the bills and the, between bills and the state aid, everything at once. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll make one for all the bills, the bills in between the meetings and the state aid bills. Right. Second motion made, seconded to pay the bills, including the state aid and the addendum. On the question, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Correspondence. two items. The first one is an invitation to county maintenance municipal outreach program on Wednesday, April 12, 2023, from 4 to 6 p.m. I shared that with Mark and Damien. And the next item is a letter from Rotary Sports um, asking for a donation as they have in the past annually. We have a budget here. Yeah. We gave 1250 well, per budget. I'll make that motion. Sick. Motion made the second of the question. All in favor say aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Yep, that's all. Uh, Planning Commission, Mr. Lyash. Uh, the first item, um, the, the uh, Planning Commission discussed uh, the, ordin the first ordinance change we were uh, reviewing, which is the addition of agritainment as a permitted use in an ag forest district. This is one of the things, I, I gave everyone an article on general code changes and what townships are facing, I think it was at the January meeting. This is a more specific discussion of this use. We do have one example of this use uh, in the township um, that was granted as a variance request. Um, in that case, the Zoning Hearing Board did a great job of placing conditions on it. And, and the owners are going through, for example, their sewage planning module and they're doing everything that they have to do. But it's not listed as a permitted use anywhere. If uh, Planning Commission's suggestion is that we list it as a permitted use in Ag Forest, by either special exception, which still puts it in front of the Zoning Hearing Board for review, or by conditional use, which puts it in the Planning Commission 
for basically all the conditions that would be attached to the approval, and then a vote before the supervisors. I don't know how, how Todd feels about which one of those. After, after we would have a hearing, that would take some time. So it just seems to me that zoning here was probably better equipped to do that than we are at a public meeting. And, um, that would be my suggestion. So I, I would allow it as a special exception. All right. Is that something that you need to work on? We'd have to make a most, we'd have to make a ordinance change. Wait, okay. we, we, there, we would also have to kind of refine a definition. Right. And it would have to be something like farm-based entertainment, including but not limited to uh, activities such as hay rides, pony rides, wine tasting, private events, <coughs> harvest festivals. Uh, and we'd have to refine that a little bit, subject to what Todd thought we needed in terms of language that he, you know, such as but not limited to. Um, putting it to, putting it before the zoning hearing board gives them a, the opportunity to kind of get all the conditions in line. But this would actually make it a permitted use, which we need to have stuff that's coming down, coming at us in the code. So what we need is for Todd to do. Uh, so I come to your next meeting. Is that easier, or do you want to? Uh, that's probably easier. But I mean. We have pretty much everything together. Um, the other one on ordinance changes is um, we're going to be required shortly to uh, redo our uh, floodplain ordinance. It was last redone in 2008. Um, Pima, I can go back and forth with the Pima representative on a model ordinance, and the Planning Commission has our current ordinance and the model ordinance to compare. But there are some required changes to keep us in line with the requirements for the National Flood Insurance Program and to keep our community ready. So Planning Commission, everyone has both versions. We're comparing them. That will probably be on the agenda, Planning Commission agenda for next meeting. Sounds and good to me. That's everything that we have on, on ordinance changes. and. The other thing that we have on here is, is considering an extension for the Molina Land Development Plan, which the Planning Commission recommended an extension. I talked to their engineer. I received their approved NPDES, I think it was last Friday. Um, they should have revised plans to Larson um, before the next Planning Commission meeting. That would leave Todd to discuss the legal language uh, with their attorney. Uh, and I guess their attorney is aware that that's the point that we're going to be at. So, so for the first time, Todd, you're comfortable going to the meetings, you're good. Yeah. I think, I think it's the easiest way to get it all done. Yeah. Everybody will be there. Yeah. It's open to an extension until July 11th for the Galena Land Development Plan. Mm -hmm. Second. Motion made the second on the question. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. That's everything for Thank you. Street Department, Mr. Major. Okay, you bring the St. Damien's report there. Um, there's two items uh, on the agenda here. Uh, I'll make a motion to rescind the uh, offer of employment to Robert Fennell as a part time help from last month's meeting. Second. Motion made and second on the question. If there's a aye. Aye. Uh, opposed? Motion carried. And then for the next one, I guess I'll turn it over to Joe for our municipal winning uh, truck day. Yes, it was uh, successful, I believe. Uh, I think I have Debbie has the final number. The total is $10,643. Yep, and the gentleman's name is Kevin Fox, and he is from Lebanon. Okay. So look for a motion to award the bid for the 2001 F450. Total of $10,643. Yeah, no. Okay. Motion made second on the question. All there say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion wow. carries. Who's this last name? Sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Any, Any else, Damien? Oh, nope. we, we are done, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Thank you. Wow. Bill Davis. <coughs> Mr. Okay, the only thing I have is uh, Vince did get me the uh, two motors we need for the heaters in the gym, but uh, I told the guy we're not going to worry about it.
out until it cools off a little bit and he can get in there and get a chance to change them out. So we'll get them <coughs> cleaned and changed when he comes. So <coughs> that's all I have for building. The only thing I had when I was pulling in today, it looks like the paint's really starting to show wear on the outside. I don't know if you notice, it's like I, I you can start to, you're starting to see the red, the maroon, <coughs> the, the tan, and it's bubbling up. So I don't know if that's something we want to look to. Even for budget for next year? Yeah. Grant? That, that was my question. The grant, the, from the county grant, I saw was yeah. listed for improvement of buildings. Improvement of buildings, yeah. township buildings. Um, in both categories, the paint, do we look at a better, more efficient system for the gym? I know it's a big area, but, um, you know, we have to, the deadline is. Uh, April 31st? April, no, it's, well, it's April 4th, it's somewhere in the middle. I don't know if it's after a meeting or not, but I would assume we want to decide tonight if we want to apply for anything. It might be the 14th, it's a Friday, so it'll be after. I think it was up to what, $50,000, right? Up to 50 and matching 100%. Mm -hmm. um, unless yeah, no, so we, we, could that. we could try, shoot for that. Yeah. We're going to look at it either way. What was the question? The, 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 I think it's going to have to be done. You know, it's not an emergency the paint, there's, but there's uh, there's an issue out front. I'd like to take somebody. I don't know if the same guy that would be painting the gym would do it. The steel lentils above the windows. I think it would drive it again, kind of not good up front here. So I kind of have somebody look at that too. I don't know if be the same outfit or a different outfit. You know what I mean? So it's under new business. We can talk about it now. The so it's 2023 from the county municipal ARPA grant application. Basically, the commissioners will be allocated one million dollars towards this program. Um, and the municipality and the public county can apply for a maximum award up to $50,000 matching grant of 100% that cannot be matched by previous grant money. Um, some of the, the recommended ideas are blight remediation, improvement construction of municipal buildings, purchase personal protective equipment, or enhancement of emergency services. So, <coughs> if they call, you know, improvement of the building, mm -hmm. we'll fall under that. Chief, I don't know if you have anything that like, you know, our basement okay. for a locker room, which is really bad, mm -hmm. maybe the shower area. Okay. Um, so do we just how does how does that work? Like, do we have to give them a, a number or just apply for the fifty thousand bucks and or? No, I think we have to have a an estimate. Yeah. Yeah. There's a project information. Is this one a couple paragraphs? Well, yeah. we applied on the sewer authority side of it because they did that. And we got the half million dollars. We didn't have to talk. We didn't have to provide a whole lot of information. Craig just yeah. kind of summarized the project and the estimated cost. I mean, it just says a description need, the description of the project area, project scope, and estimated costs, and any additional information you think. So, well, we could just get a ballpark figure on somebody for that. And I'll try and get a ballpark figure for somebody in the basement or the mm -hmm. painting in the outside, and, the, and then we'll go from there. Um, I don't know if there's. Any, I know we did some minor electrical upstairs. If there's anything else we want to do. Up there, I don't know if that was which one of you guys it was. There's tons that could be done up there. Okay. I'll uh I mean I don't I don't I don't have a problem with what caused us to paint the gym the last time, so I don't know how out. much. Who um, paint? I thought it was that Anderson that paints, but I can't find it under Anderson. Is he under something else? I forget. Well that would have been gone back. I thought it was Robert Anderson, but I don't find it. Wasn't that the sun? Okay, then, the yeah, what's the dad's name? <laughs> I just can't find it. Mr. Anderson. Mr. <laughs> Under Anderson. It's not Under Anderson. Thinking, for some reason, I'm thinking maybe 20-some. Which obviously would be a lot more than a job. Okay, but it's going back quite a few years since it'll go. I'm looking at certain amount to match whatever projects we come up with. That's what I was going to say. I, I, I don't. I don't have a problem if we that's say we'll like, match the fifty thousand. We have that whole problem sitting there, and to me, that's right. a very good use. Mm -hmm. If we can get them to match another fifty, right? You know, we're getting twice the work done. You know, we're not affecting our budget at all because we didn't count on that ARPA money, right, Joe? That was just a. It's there for that yeah. purpose to use yeah. right. Right. to leverage, you know, additional grants. Sure. Sorry, but if we just authorize the motion, the submission of the bill to the county as. The projects decided by the building department chairman. Chair Wood? 
Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a good yeah. idea. That but but applied for by Debbie or John. Not <laughs> like the department chair. <laughs> Is it an electronic submission? <laughs> no, it's not. You just write oh, this. Oh, there we go. All right. Do you make that motion? No. no, 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 no. I'll make that motion. All right. Put bells on. Put bells on. All right. Is there a second? Thank you. Other question? All in favor say aye. Aye. Oh, aye. Thank you. Motion to clear. Yes. Anything else for buildings? No, that's it. All right. Recreation. Um, there was a basketball hoop, a rim, I believe, that was damaged. Um, we have a spare, but we're looking to replace both at the same time. Um, so Debbie has another one ordered. No, I don't. They nope. can get back to Oh, me. that's right. Um, yeah, she's waiting to hear back from George Eli, the union associates, because um, it's online, but we can't order it from them. We have to order it from an authorized vendor. Um, that being said, or whatever was on the original back. <laughs> So I reached out to, I'm not sure the name of that business, but it's a powder coating business out of Sunbury and Jeff's Auto Body to see about painting the backboards or getting them powder coated. Um, Jeff's recommended powder coating because it would be less expensive and probably more durable and long lasting. Um, to get the backboards painted is roughly $200, $250 according to the guy from Sunbury um, each. And Jeff said it would be considerably more than that to paint. And then uh, to buy just buy new backwards, it would be at least $500. I'm just going to reach out to that guy. I'll get with Damien, maybe take one down at a time. Um, he said mid-April would be a better time for him. He's really busy now, but his, his busy time ends around April. So we'll just get together, take a backboard down, take it down, get it powder coated, and then put the new rim on, put it up, switch the other one. So we at least have one going at, at all times. So. <coughs> Um, all right, that's I think all I have for recreation zoning officer's report, Mr. Dobbs. Uh, I see Mark's report. Um, I don't have anything, we pretty much covered the ordinances. No, we have a little, we're starting to get an uptick in complaints. Um, strange, I had a strange number of anonymous complaints that actually weren't, there was nothing there when I went to check on them. So. But they're, it's, this time of year, it's been warm and starting to get, you know, people are out for walks. And I think that's what prompts a lot of it. So, but it's all, everything's there in the report. Please talk about public safety, Mr. Williams. I'm trying to look at February, the department answered 96 calls for assistance, including in this total or 12 traffic. Accidents in 26 initial investigations. The department conducted 35 follow-up investigations with 10, 10 criminal charges filed. There were 4,422 miles of patrol during February, 46 traffic arrests, 38 warnings issued for motor vehicle violations. As you can see, uh, we have a disappointment. We got an email saying that we did not get the, the grant. So I don't know, Chief, if you want to kind of elaborate a little bit on that or it's, it's basically right there. I mean, it's just, I guess we didn't qualify because of the violent crime status and we don't meet that criteria. So next time. Which we'll is a good thing. thing. It's yeah, a good thing. Good. It, it good. definitely is a good thing. Good. It's, it's kind of hard to give us money for violent crimes when we really don't have a lot. I mean, we do at times, but it's not, it's not a common thing for sure. We can make that happen. <laughs> over and over. Like so we have uh, Mr. Okay. Chairman. Please department public safety. Recycling. Excited recycling. Okay. Do I have your full attention down there? Sorry. <laughs> I'm divided. <laughs> um, trying to find some way to haul the glass for us. I've called probably five or six different companies. Um, I got two quotes. One was $500 a trip, and one was $300 a trip. I was informed that Sunbury does not recycle the glass anymore. They just throw it in a landfill. So I don't think we should uh, take it there anymore because we're we'd be getting into the garbage business and uh, recycling. Um, I'm still 
still looking. What was the last cost that we had for pulling Tim? So I, just I think it's two seventy or seventy five. Is that what they do? Yeah. For Shingara, we haven't got. Um, we don't have a bill from the new people that Shingara set up, yeah. and they've taken it once, but we think they took it to Shimokan, and, and then we don't get any record of weight. Right. When you say took it to Shimokan, Shimokan, they said Shimokan, but it's Cole Township Recycling. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there was yeah. so there's some coverage too today. Yeah. Go to Sunbury from there. I'm going to the I, I don't know. I, so the, the estimates that you got, do you know where they'd be taking it? Um, no. Okay. I think the one, one, yeah, one did say something about Warwicksburg. So down there. Yeah, that's right, on, that's cool, yeah. right on 61. Yeah, that's right on 61. Yeah, that's right on 61. And that's where that's GF, or County Waste. That's where County Waste takes, takes our plastics. But when I looked into them in the far, you, who, no, I did. I, well, like Damien asked the driver, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so they do recycle it down there, and they'll also do single stream down there. Mm -hmm. So there could be a truck. conceivably, we get to a point where yeah. we're better off just doing single stream if they're going to end up hauling plastics and glass. I don't know. I, I don't know what the tipping point is. but The plastic so. goes a lot more often right. than the glass. Okay. I did find Jack Anderson construction. I don't find anything else. And it was seventy five hundred, but I don't know if that. I'll put, this, all I put down kind of was gym refinishing project. Yeah, but it was in two thousand nine. That sounds about that's probably it. For, yeah, 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 that's probably it. I thought it was more than that. So, uh, yeah, I won't do that now. But do you remember we had the wrong color or something? Yeah, yeah. And then they <coughs> changed it. So it looks like that. If anybody has any suggestions on who I could call, I can tell, tell you if I call today or not. But so if you, do, if you do single stream. Would it only need weighed one time? Like, you wouldn't have to weigh each color glass, because right now you report each color separate yeah. for your report. If you did single stream... You Do you mean single stream everything we take? Single stream is cardboard, paper, plastic, everything thrown in a bunch. But could we do it with the glass that it didn't have to be separated? I don't know. Because if you had some other like that, I mean, there's other places that we could weigh but I don't know how you would do it with weighing each glass. Like Clark's feed mill has to have a, a weigh scale there. And I know typically it's like $20 to weigh a truck at a, a scale site. But the place you run into a problem is weighing each glass separate. Mm -hmm. you know? I don't know. I, I'm doing the recycling report right now. And Knobles reports to me because we can get credit for businesses in our township as well. And Dan from out there always split his glass brown, clear, and green. And this time he only did clear and brown green together. And they take it to Cole Township. And he had weights. So I don't know. I do they have a scale out there for Nobles. Mm -hmm. Well, do we keep looking and see? I mean, your one estimate was pretty close to the old bill, but I don't know if that's where it's going to be taken. Or and did Charles say it needs to go pretty soon? Yeah, next week probably. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, can we see what the guy's going to try to find? Yeah, can we ask them no. who he is when he's here? Well, did I give you that number and name? Charles gave me a name and number of who took the glass. Schwakus. Yeah. Steve, I think it's Steve Schwakus. I thought I texted you that or told you that, but it's on my desk if you want to get well, it after. I would assume County Waste, since they take the plastics, would pick up the glass. They would, and that was my next question. What is county waste charge to take the plastics down? Whatever the bill says. 140, I think it was. And the other complication there is we're not getting weights from them anymore. When the GSL plastics. took over, I don't get any weights for plastic. I sent three letters, I got nothing. Um, I know it's getting weighed because the... Um, $140. Our, our driver trip. is a weighmaster, and he told me he weighs it. So The plastic? Yes. So why don't he give it to me? Well, that might not yeah. be, I will talk to him tomorrow. Because I, I wrote letters to the head of it. I sent one with my bill, and I sent it to the guy that I used to send it to, and I got nothing back. And if you want me to, when I call him tomorrow, I can ask if he holds anybody's glass. Yeah, so. mm -hmm. ask about the glass, and ask if we can just do it all, one, you know, all together. Whether you're brown, green, clear, whatever. Yeah. That seems, that seems to be what yeah. the problem is. Nobody wants to invest the time in the... Mm -hmm. Empty in each one and weigh in each glass type of glass, so yeah. 
So uh, the three different glass weigh different. No, I just I think it's when it gets recycled that it, it the has to. probably easier to recycle. Yeah, it probably has different processes. Uh, so but it has to go. It has to go to a recycling center. Yeah. It, Obviously, it can't go to the landfill. Yeah. No, it's ridiculous if we're having people bring it here and take it to a car. And I was just thinking, I don't know what that I mean. Obviously, it has a nice weight compared to plastic or aluminum or whatever. But if we're not getting nothing for it anyway, do we care what it weighs? If we're not really getting reimbursed for well, much I, of the... Well, I reported on my report that goes to the state. So we, we just get, don't know how much money they give us for the glass. They won't give us any because I have to have slips to back it up. <laughs> what I'm saying is, we only get hundred dollars, and we have to pay twenty bucks every time to weigh the glass. Right. It doesn't pay us to yeah. right. I don't know how worry about the weight. Just let them have it. I they give them the whole report, we don't get any money. and they send me three to four thousand yeah. dollars a year. Right. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. You know I mean? If it just doesn't, mm -hmm. we'll get we we'll do our thing. We'll we we'll still recycle right. it, but if it if we're not getting we're not, no money for it, then or you know, hundred fifty bucks a year or two hundred fifty bucks a year. So we don't have weights on it. We don't so what I'm hearing is we'll talk to the county waste GFL driver, see about getting weights for the plastic. We'll see when the current glass picker upper does this next load, we'll see about getting a bill or how much they're charging us for that and see if it's the same yeah, just to get them. The other sure. thing the other way to look at this too is so even though you're not getting the yearly amount from D P, we're still eligible for the nine oh two grant, which you know, is a, a significant amount of money. Like that Damien applied for right. the Yeah, and part of that, yeah. like we have to, it has to go to a recycling center. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just saying, I, we're still going to recycle it. Yep. But what I see you're saying, it won't be on our paperwork that we recycle it. Yeah, we're, but it still yeah. means we're a recycling municipality. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Do, you, do we know where the current person took it, the Schweikas or? <coughs> well, the last time he took it, he took it over to the Cole Township Recycling Center. Okay. But there was there was just no weight slip for it. Was what the issue was. And no bill. Or the bill. Like we don't know how much mm -hmm. we paid him to take it. She yeah. didn't get a bill from him yet. So <laughs> that's not really that's bad. Though. Yeah, that's a, that's a good problem. All right. So you'll talk to them. Yeah. And we'll see where he's taking it, and then we'll go from there. Sound good. Well, the, the three hundred dollars a load was Kenny Snyder down here, and the five hundred was uh, DMS. Can maybe just check to see too, just for future efforts, where Kenny Snyder would take it. That way, you know, we know if this guy doesn't work out, 300 is not, you know, terrible compared to 275 if he's going to take it to the appropriate location. Yeah, we're not making money on recycling. So. Well, yeah, but it is. We're not breaking In load. the meantime, if we do need to send a load out next week, we'll just try going through the vendor we used last month. Yeah, I think so. And then talk to them and see, see number one, are they going to send us a bill? How much are they charging us? Verify where they're taking it and see if we can get weights, whether it's all one weight or weights per color. Um, okay. For that delivery. Anything else? If you need help with that, they need help. Whatever you have to do. There's your support. I have all the phone numbers okay. on my phone. Uh, the only thing I had is we had uh, we did get approval for our safety committee for a 5% discount on our workers' comp. There was some excitement about uh, not being able to locate a policy or an EIN, but we got that resolved, so we got our discounts. That's it. Solicitor's report. Hey, uh, nothing additional. What do you see? Engineer's report. Everybody sees Brad's report. He did text Mark and tell me he wasn't going to make it. The, uh, the playground project is still moving on. They're going to be doing some surveying and everything soon, and then we'll keep the ball rolling on that. Old business. We already did those two. Um, library use for the back parking lot has been changed to June 24th from 4 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Uh, I don't see why that would be an issue just to phone everybody of that, as long as it doesn't coincide with baseball or, you know, just to work, work it out. Okay. No. Um, anything else for old business? New business. We'll consider the agreement for the SBCA for 2023 for 43 vouchers for the TNR program. That's, oh, sorry, that's the $1,500 that's yeah. budgeted. Yeah. So moved. Second. Other question? All in favor say aye. Aye. 
Uh, opposed? Motion carries. Just a quick note on that. I did speak with one of the ladies from the village cat nappers today um, to see is that enough? Is that not enough? Is it too much? Um, she said that's perfect for this year. They're going to assess what happens um, over this year. I think there was four unused vouchers last year, so right in the ballpark. Um, but if anything would change, we'll reassess it before budget time next year. Um, and then the grant opportunity, we covered that. Um, we made a motion for that, didn't we? We made a motion. Yeah, we made a motion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anything else for new business? Citizens input? Yeah, quickly, uh, my group with Illiesburg and everything else, we want to let the board know we want to get with Damien again this year and organize a playground cleanup as we did last year sometime awesome. at the end of April. I think that's when we did it last time when it got warm. Quite a few people have actually been inquiring about it. So I just want to bring that up to the board and get their blessing if required. Dave, we appreciate you doing that. Did that coincide with the bathroom opening? Or was that not like, or can we coincide? Yeah, that, that's how we did it last year. We'll make sure the bathroom's open for it. Okay. All right, awesome. Um, great. Anything else? Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for doing that. Anybody else? Motion, uh, next year, right? motion to adjourn. We'll have a, we do, yeah, we do the executive session. And motion for adjourning. And we will not be.